All right, hey, we got some uh, nice bikes here. I wonder what happened to our buddy that had used to come by with that Suzuki. Remember that Suzuki guy? We haven't seen him in a long time. The guy that has that really cool black Suzuki oh, bike that the works. BB King. The, yeah. He has an eight. Yeah. All right. There he goes. There goes noise. Look at this here. What do you think of this? I don't know. Oh, good old Ram Dooley. Wow. Look at the puppies. Oh, there's Steve. He's hiding on us today. You're taking a picture of that? <laughs> yeah, all right. What's the story of the Go truck? Going to the other side. Uh, the other side? Way too many yeah, take a picture of this side. <laughs> so, are you saying that you uh, you shoot deer or you uh, no, run over deer? The truck, it's a weird thing. <laughs> really? Is rain inside the truck? Oh, that I, I bought. It was way worse when I bought it. Oh, wow. I got this thing super cheap. Yeah, yeah. What's the goal? Well, what are you planning on doing? I'm selling it. <laughs> it's a run it till it breaks. Uh, the body's got 415,000 on it. Oh my gosh. Wow. And it's slow. The, It'll start up and I can drive that thing to North Carolina or South Carolina. Isn't right that now. incredible? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a fresh, it's a, it's a rebuilt engine. Like, yeah, the Duramax. Yeah. Nice. I, I trust that thing, like the body and everything, it stays together. What's it? What year is that? 88? Uh, 04. 04. It's only a year younger. Than oh, wow. So you're selling it, and then what do you get? I'm getting a Subaru WR. This is radical. <laughs> <laughs> I need so you look like a get. truck guy, all right? Uh, you you don't look like the Subaru guy. I used to drive a Mustang. Box body. Oh, nice. Don't you wish you kept it? Not at all. Really? Uh, that thing, I stripped it down to 1,500 pounds. I had a driver's seat. In it okay, it. yeah, yeah. It was a race car. Yeah, man. You're tracking it. All around here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you want a Subaru WRX SI, you say? Uh, I want an STI, but I can't STI. Afford it. <laughs> it's expensive. What are they, what are they getting? Probably 40? Uh, hey, Tyler. What are the 07 STIs going for? They're like 14 grand. Oh, wow. 07 STIs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got some RAM. These are RAMs? Yeah, this is fine. Well, we're RAM people. We're everything. I got a YouTube show, YouTube channel right now. If you don't mind, you're on. If you don't want to be on, I'll turn it off. It's no, called Ice Age TV. So I've got, she's got a, a coal burner, Ram, 2015. Okay. And uh, we've got the Fords over here. we got the race truck over there, you know. But she's a motorhead, and she uh, she loves trucks. I mean, she, she, but she has Mustang, and she has a lot of things. Right, right. So tell us about your, tell us about, it's, whose Ram is this? That one's mine right there. Okay, that's a really cool because the retro fenders. The dual fenders? Yeah, yeah. yeah the dual right, right. No, I know. But that was always unique to the uh, Ram product. Because how they're rounded off. Well, Chevy's got them right there. Yeah, but no, no. These are no, round. Yeah, you're right. You're they're right. round. Yeah, I mean, I, right. so, so you got the good old Cummins motor yeah, that's been around valve. forever. Yeah, 12 valve. It's a 1991 Dodge D350. How many miles are on it? Um, it's about 105,000 miles on the engine. Is this saying, are you doing anything to it? Um, I've already had the rear end ripped off completely. I redid most of the frame, uh, gas tank straps, new shocks in the rear. Nice. I'm a welder, so that's nice. My frame was starting to rust out. I yeah. cut out the rust, put in new metal. Yeah. The rest of the frame is fine. Um, I just put new shocks, new coil springs, new ball joints in it. Nice. Uh, so I've done a bunch of work. Yeah. And so, what about the body work? That's the next step, the last project. I'm planning on getting rid of the bed completely. I'll probably keep it. You should have a flat me. bed. I'm gonna make my own welding bed for yeah, it. Yeah, oh nice. And then um, I'll probably get the cab painted, but I have two new rocker panels, mm -hmm. but I just need to start cutting them up and weld them in. Yeah. And that's the only actual rust on the, like rust holes through the body. So, so you want to put a flat bed back there so you can put your welder back there and yep. go around weld, do yeah, welding yeah, jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, go out west. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's great. That's a great goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for this truck, you're saying that you got new panels on the, the side yeah, here yeah, the, i got new rock panels they're at my house i just haven't put them in yet okay and what color are you going to make it when it's all said and done hopefully metallic black oh nice so where are you going to relocate the uh, exhaust pipe 
with that flatbed or are you? Uh, I'm probably gonna I, I'm probably gonna go home and move it today. This thing's way too loud. I'm <laughs> this is the second one I've heard. I'm the guy over there. Right there. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, this is like my third exhaust setup with it already. Wow. I, I, I like messing around with it before I put the welcome bed on and everything. So, how did you find this? So I had a 1996 uh, supercharged Miata. Oh, nice. And yeah, so the guy that had this really wanted. This is so you guys are funny. You know you're funny? Because you're truck guys, but you're driving a Miata? I'll drive a Miata every day of the week. <laughs> but you seem like a truck guy. That's, that's one of the, right. that's And then one he's of the wants a Subaru. Drivers. Yeah, you guys I, are like the truck I guys. Do you, do you, I mean, you're a, tr you're a tr but you're truck guys. I mean, come on, you know what I mean? Don't take it the wrong way. I'm all, all the way. above. I know, I, I'm I would keeping do. keeping the truck. And yeah. I'm an STI like that. Wow. Well, I'm buying another truck at some point. But what is it about the Subaru, the people, the younger generation? I just bought one years ago, but I just never did it. But what what is it about this? What, what draws you that compared to the Mustang, you know? Or a they Toyota corner. Supra? They or Well, Supra's corner, but Supras are expensive as so. hell. I can take a Subaru down 90 at Lime Gilm. Definitely corner that and do fine. And really? My Mustang, I slid that sideways across the bridge on Lime Gilm going 60. Oh, my gosh. Same as a Miata, you put a couple thousand dollars into a Miata, supercharger, Coney Yellow coilovers, and you can take corners. You can beat Mustangs in corners and everything. Okay. Straight lines, you're not going to do anything. But yeah. Track, you don't, like Mustangs and everything, they're, they're not the best for the track, unless but, they're purely built for it. But is a Subaru like a better package? To put it together for money wise, like the Mustang, for the running sure. joke, the running joke for with Mustangs sure. though is you can build Mustangs as you're so many for cheap. Well, you can get uh, that's a 20 STI. You can get for five hundred dollars. You could have a tuner for that. And it's, how, how much for the? It's what five hundred dollars for the tuner, and it makes it how much faster? For, for what, this? That? No, for this. Oh, for that. The tuner now is like six hundred bucks, but it, is this yours? Yeah. Okay. It gives it about thirty horsepower. Right Dad, off the bat, without changing anything from if, stock. Do you mind if Hannah comes to breakfast with us after fine, this? Fine, fine. Okay, yeah. my dad. So, uh, so, anyways, um, so this is yours, and you guys are fixated. But both of you guys want us. You both, they want one of these. Uh -huh. Is that the understanding? You yeah. want this model? Yeah. Oh yeah. And what year is this? That's a 2020. Okay. STI. So, how much power can you really get out of this without getting too radical in money? Um, four fifty. Too radical in money. Yeah, you're looking at about 400, 450 to the wheels. Okay. Check out that to the wheel. Yeah. So you got you can, you're looking 580 you can, then. You can do that with. Yeah, it's right here. Between well, depending on what route you go, because there's a couple different options that you have for power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, between five and ten grand, you can get up to 400, 450 pretty easily. Are you? Do you have to go to E85? Are you run on regular gas. Um, well, that's, I mean, that's one of the options yeah. is E85. Uh, a couple of the guys in the group that I'm in yeah. run E85, yeah. and they're up closer to 500. Wow. And what's uh, the weight of this vehicle? Oh. Um, I would think 3,800 pounds. Actually, I don't even think it's that much. That's pretty impressive. Because all the technology, all the stuff they stuff in them. So I would say in the light side, 3,500 I mean, you're talking mu today's Mustangs are four thousand pound vehicles, you know. So I would I would think thirty five hundred pounds, maybe thirty three hundred, but that'd be I think that'd be pushing it. It's in case you have so much stuff in it. PBRW is forty four hundred. So fifteen hundred pounds less four occupants. It probably so. What's that? What what is it gross? You say uh, forty four hundred. So, so well, thirty five hundred pounds. Yeah. It's probably about a 3,500 pound view. So, and this, I got a YouTube channel, so you know, and I make videos and I come up here, it's called Ice Age TV. If that's bugging you, I'll, I'll turn it off. Oh, no, but, I'll, but the, uh, but so what drew you to, I mean, this is, you guys are characters because you got these guys on all these big ass trucks, but then they're yeah. all wanting this little car. Well, that's car. actually, that's my brother right there. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. But I'm just, this is, I think it's, but don't take it the wrong way because I have all, if you go to my YouTube channel, I like about all different types of cars and trucks, but I just, you guys are such burly big guys in these burly big trucks. <laughs> but yeah, then you're, actually, you're talking I, about wanting to own a freaking Japan made, you know, Subaru. You know, yeah. and in my era, grew up in the 70s, when these things showed up in 1973, it was like, this is hideous. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> you know, 
So in California, I saw my first Subaru orange when I was a kid, 1970, 10 years old. Yeah. My dad's boss bought one. It's actually pretty cool like it actually. You know, so uh, so I just see it's intriguing that you guys want these little sports cars. Yeah. And yeah, actually, matter of fact, at home I have a uh, second gen Dodge pickup that's about the same size as that one. Yeah, we're, we're and, ram people. And I got a uh, Jeep Wrangler that I drive around every once in a while. This is just kind of like my daily driver. Yeah. But as far as affordable sports cars were going nowadays that I could fit because I have my son, which is he's actually in the back of the car. Yeah, I see him. And yeah. then my daughter that's at home. Yeah. To be able to fit two car seats in and drive around and still have fun. Yeah. This was the perfect option. And it's all-wheel drive, so if I get, you know, yeah. a little bit of snow on the road yeah. or whatever, then sure. I don't really have to worry about it all too much. Yeah. So, what was this value, this car, in 2020? Um, this one here was 43. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. What is it today? Um, it might actually be worth a little more than that because they actually discontinued the STI last year. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So, but there's speculation they're bringing it back. Is that right or wrong? Um, well, there's they were thinking about bringing it back, but it's probably going to end up being all electric. Which yeah, wow. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Right. We're not going that route. <laughs> uh, it definitely has to have. They should just go hybrid. It. Yeah. Hybrid would have been pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it's probably worth pretty close to the same amount as what I paid for. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, I believe, right. And, I mean, Subarus in general seem to hold their value a lot more anyway. Well, it's reliable. Yeah, and, I mean. But it's a good price point. You know, what's crazy today is $40,000 for a car today is like, what do you get? <laughs> Which was incredible. Yeah. I mean, it really is. And so, even though it sounds expensive, but yet go sh car shopping, not so much. So how many miles you got on this car? It's uh, just under 20,000. This is a really cool car. And I like the brass, I call them the brass monkey wheels. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I call them. Because I've had the Hellcats with those. Yeah. And uh, so, and the options on this car, besides it being, you know, the, the performance package, what even option do you even have? Um, I mean... Besides the color and the wheels. Well, I mean, they have a few options. There's a leather interior option, which yeah. I guess I kind of got part of. It's got the racing seats in it. The, um, uh, so those are the, what, Cardo or whatever the... Uh, yeah, the Recaro. Recaro, right, seats. right, um, yeah. And then the red seat belts because it's an STI. Yep. And then, of course, you get the big brakes, this yeah. Rambo brakes on it because okay. it's... But you've modded the exhaust. Uh, yeah, actually, when I bought it, it actually had a muffler to lead on it, and I haven't changed it just because I don't mind it. So you bought this used? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So looks like tires were changed. Oh, yeah. The wheels and tires were the first thing I did, and then I changed out all the lights and the emblems. LED lights all the way around? Yeah. That's really neat. And then I blacked out all the emblems because I couldn't stand the crow that much. Yep. Factory wing? Yeah, factory wing. Nice. So, is this a car you'll part with? Uh, probably not. I know, because you can't replace it. Yeah. This is I mean, something, you, and where we're going with technology, yeah, I mean, uh, Ice Age. I imagine at some point if I ever end up having to get something else, because I daily drive this. Yeah. Um, if I ever have to get something else, then I'll probably mod this one to the point where it won't be road legal. And then I'll just have something else that I drive on the road, and this will just be kind of like a track play toy. That'd be great. You know, that's great. I love your tag. Yeah, that's creative. That's cool. Yeah, I kind of I had to use the snake as the A, but you know. Yeah, yeah, it works. nice. Oh no, I like it. This is really a beautiful car. It really is. It looks like you've really taken great care of it. Yeah. I don't I see. I mean, it looks meticulous. It's, with it and being having kids. Japanese paint <laughs> yeah, and red. They, it's very thin paint, so yeah. you can't wash it like you normally wash a car that's interesting but it, why it, it, you'll end up wearing the paint off of it like get the, out of here the older red subarus you'll notice <laughs> you'll see the actually. the roof and the top of the trunk or the wing will be faded and it'll be almost white and it's from over washing the oh my gosh or over scrubbing it oh my gosh so that's crazy brushless car washes only oh and my I goodness pretty much, i have to buy new rags every time i detail it at the house yeah the outside of yeah it, yeah because i have to make sure there's no dirt or anything in the rags or else you'll see every single one of the scratches oh my gosh it's um, it's pretty much like having a jet black car <laughs> yeah. wow well it looks brand new yeah 
That makes us off. I try to keep it that way. All right, well, to I'm going to turn off the video here. Thank you very much for your time there. Yeah. All right, as always, as always, I can't stop talking. The kid left. The kid left. She, her friend came by and they went and got breakfast. I haven't had breakfast, drink of water, nothing. I could get out of here. But just a great time. Met some great people. And it's always about the, uh, the experience of hanging out with others and talking the same talk. And it really is so much fun. And the Asian, it's so cool. How you run into these younger, the younger generation that want to live like we did. We're not the older people, but it's so cool how they're so into what, like I was into at their age. But you're talking 40 year difference, you know, of age, 35, 40 years difference. So, wow, what a great day. Wow. Enjoyed it. You know, in today's video, I'm sure some people are like, oh, you did a lot of car video, but then you kind of did a little more personal talk. Well, I just figured, eh, let's just see. How it goes with the uh, the content and make you feel like you're here hanging out and talking to people and, and that's what it's all about. As we head out from Flores Decor, and there's another really cool guy, and there's the Mustang. I must be that guy's there. He's talking. Oh the, the, oh, the beauty of living on the roads, the DC Beltway. As I go, take care of some work projects. I got a lot going on though. When I get back in, I gotta take apart that freaking Bronco. That's a project. We had a blast. We really did have a great car show. You're badass Harley guys hauling butt. You guys are flying down the road. the beauty of living behind the wheel of a car never ending traffic accidents traffic jams you know what's be really interesting here is does this truck's adaptive cruise control turn off at a certain lower speed the other trucks i have like at 12 13 miles per you know once you get down to like 10 12 13 miles an hour it usually turns off does this have the stop and go um technology I have no idea. We're going to find out. The traffic's kind of moving, which that's good. I'm glad I'm not totally dead traffic. Or am I? So, do we get to experience together if this has stop and go? I don't know. Good news is we're still moving. And the Ford F-250 2023 20, day. I've had so many Ford F-250 trucks now. This has to be my fourth or fifth F-250 in the last, like, four or five years. Well, it started back in 2018. So, you're talking six years. So, I had a white F-250. Then I had a black F-350, single axle. And then I had a Tremor. Um this color F-250 and then I had another used F-250 I just traded, well not yet four, five so this is the, like my fifth F-250 truck, well fourth F-250 but F-350 F3, looked the same, just a little heavy to use suspension so wow so with this lower speed, yeah, I think it's got newer technology in it all right, so here's, oh, cool. So this has to stop and go. This is the first Super Duty truck I've owned that has stop and go. I don't think the 2022 F450 has it. It's probably a 23 technology. As we sit in traffic and traffic and traffic. So uh, pretty cool. I'm liking that. Gives you all the 
stress relief of having to freaking hit the gas and brake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I want to show you a perfect example of how the government operates. It's this 95 north and southbound. So, the way this DC area operates, the 95 southbound middle express lane should be open going south. So, in Monday through Friday, I believe it's um, 11 o'clock or maybe noon, they open up the southbound traffic. If you look at my wage, you'll see the southbound 95 right now is all locked down. And the reason is because these politicians pass laws to benefit themselves. So this, the 95 North stays open to like 2 o'clock. So all the rich politicians that want to hang out in the South, then head North back to D.C. or whatever it may be. And it's unbelievable. So they totally ruin the traffic flow that goes on on Sundays for people that travel here in this area. And so that 95 area southbound from DC Beltway all the way down to Fredericksburg is really just a total joke. Just beyond believable. But this whole road's a total joke. It just, it's 95. It's a major thor you know, thoroughfare from New York to Florida. And anyways, hey, let's, yeah, just doesn't make sense does it and I heard that story years ago I could be wrong I could be wrong and misleading you in my information but I don't think I am it's some exception to the rule of Virginia's uh, laws that require that road to stay open until uh, 2 p.m. oh and he has to head back kind of took the car show day to me go working day and driving the new F-250 and getting a feel for her and kind of getting in touch with her. And she's she's a little free-spirited. So that's one thing we're sure with this truck. These bigger tires and suspension, she definitely has more of that tendency to get a little wild on you. Yeah, to say the least. So uh, is that why Kirby sold the truck? Is that after he did all his work to it? He came to find out that this truck's really in some ways squirrely which it is you really have to stay you know really in tune with this truck with those big ass tires and the thing is my raptor 37 doesn't do this but the raptor 37 has a front independent suspension and i'm talking about my f-150 raptor truck my 37 uh, raptor bronco same thing but it has front independent suspension once you start getting these solid axle front suspension to lift the truck you know it just really I think actually uh, makes it in some ways worse but we're having a good old time in ice truck it is a nice truck that is for sure but hey if you want to go travel anybody in this country I'm sure I mean I don't know every area is different but this DC area on the Saturday Sundays the roads are the worst the worst it's like living in 5 o'clock traffic all day long it's just incredible it's down in Florida. I talk about this all the time on my channel. It seems like the roads are lighter down there in Florida on the Sundays. What is that all about? Well, you can talk about hard times. Or can we talk about hard times? Because if you see what's going on up here, you'll be like, how could that be an indication of hard times? There's a Chevrolet Corvette C8. So, oh goodness gracious so right here in Dulles Expo Center is the big gun show happening today I went there last what fall I bought a bunch of guns but that place is packed yeah yeah that place is packed it's gun day gunaholic day right as we're going to wrap up the day for the Sunday car meet it's getting late I want to get back in to probably close to 3.30. Then i got to take apart the Ford Bronco Raptor. It just doesn't end on Ice Age TV. So, more video and I don't know yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I'm just saying, add this in the last video of the day. Three, three-part series. Big truck, race truck. 
car meet Sunday, so uh, as always, appreciate those watching my channel, and what will be the morning conversation tomorrow, got some ideas, we're going to take one word, and try to expand off of that one word, the cars and trucks, motorcycles, and uh, and then for the state of times, so you should tune into the morning conversations, if you have time to take some time out of your day and listen you might be intrigued to hear some things and learn some things so as always appreciate all the support nice comments subscribe share the channel help it grow for bigger and better things to come if we can get this channel to grow even more i mean i'll get more creative if the money can come in i can get even more creative so uh help the channel grow so you can have some fun and participate feel like you're part of it so god bless stay safe and have a great blessed sunday